Hi, it's Tash from Foxes and Brown Bears Tarot, and today is day seven of Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot. And this one focuses on your most worked with Tarot deck in 2020 and why. And this will come as no surprise to anyone who's watched any of my recent videos, but the deck that I have used most is the Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Palin. I'm in love with this deck so, so much. And basically, it has become my workhorse deck in so many ways. It is the deck I reach for when I just want a clear reading, where I don't really want to work hard for it. Um, it just just so easy, and I've really connected to it. Like it feels, I don't know, it's kind of part of me now, and it's like an extension of me, and. I love it so much and since I've trimmed it it's absolutely gorgeous because it did come with borders all the way around and which made it quite a large deck and I've trimmed the top and sides off and just absolutely love it this way the artwork works well and I find that it just makes it a nicer size to kind of hold on to um, I do why do I love this deck as well it's First of all, it's always accurate, always insightful. As I said, super easy to read for me. Um, the imagery, it just gives so much information that I can get an answer from this, even if my intuition is off that day. And that's what I like about it. There's just so much information in it. Uh, the artwork is so emotive that it also helps my intuition. And it's super inclusive. So pretty much you'd be hard pressed to find someone who is not included in this deck in some way. I, I think everyone would be able to see themselves in at least one of the cards. I love the colors. I love the style of artwork. And the guidebook is amazing. It is one of my top guidebooks of all time. Um, every card has animals in them uh, and anyone who's watched some of my videos knows I love animals as well and yeah basically this is an amazing amazing deck it feels beautiful it's a lovely nice soft matte finish but shuffles really nicely as well and Yes, there's just nothing I don't like about this deck. It's just everything you could wish for in a deck. And it's also a deck I'd highly recommend for any beginners. Because you don't need to know a lot about the tarot. To be able to pull emotions and stories out of these cards. But at the same time, the imagery is not limiting. So you are able to, it's not going to limit you to one meaning because it's so deep and you can read quite a lot of different things in these cards. And in fact, I find it one of the most versatile decks that I have and I use it for so many different purposes for every type of reading. Um, for easy just read the imagery reading for easy just read the meaning in the book readings but also uh, let me see the card meditate with it um, or let me just see where my intuition takes me on this card basically yeah I cannot say enough about this deck it is amazing and if I think it's one of the underrated decks I don't see it enough um, in YouTube videos I don't see it enough um, in terms of advertising really because it is amazing buy this deck anyway <laughs> all right so that's my most worked with tarot deck um, thanks for watching catch you next time bye